What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Life of John video. We're out here taking pictures of the Mustang right now. We got the famous Frozone over there getting a couple shots of the Mustang. We've been trying to do this for like a whole week now. And after this, I want to show you guys what I've done to my 2019 Performance Pack 1 Mustang. I want to show you everything I've done to it. Wheels and tires, bumper, all the accidents it's been in. It's actually been in two accidents already. Crazy. I've had this car for two years now. In July, it'll be two years because I got it in 2019. So that's why it's 2019. But, um, it's actually crazy like the way I got the Mustang and everything like I didn't plan on getting it What do you think bro? Are you getting the good shots? Yes, sir. <laughs> Shout yourself out man, bro. What is it? Tell All people right. to follow you on the gram or, or the whatever gram, you want. The gram is famous frozone media 01 All right boys y'all heard them. Y'all make sure y'all y'all go hit go give this man a follow on it Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back. We're uh, we're finished taking the pictures with Frozone. We went to a parking garage. We went to an indoor parking garage. I'll probably use one of those pictures as a thumbnail for this video, and I'll uh, post them on my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow John underscore Montes so you guys can take a look at those. But uh, let's get into the video. Like, I have a similar video to this when I reviewed my 2016 V6 Mustang. I made a video like this explaining everything that I've done to the car, everything that I want to do to the car in the future all right guys so this is my 2019 gt premium performance pack one mustang so the first thing i ever did to the car was these wheels these are 20 inch wheels they're uh, staggered. So this one's 20 by 10. That one's 20 by nine and a half, I believe. Right now, the setup that I'm running is 285, 35, 20 in the rear, and then 255s up in front. Um, I want to go 305s in the back. I feel like that'll be that'll be a good size because it still spins with the 285s. So I feel like that'll be okay. And then up front, I'll probably go up to 265 or something like that. That's the wheel setup. And these are. These are actually not the first wheels that I had on this car. The first wheels that I had on this car were from the white Mustang. Um, so when I bought the when I bought this Mustang, I told the lady at the dealership, I was like, There's, I'm not getting this Mustang unless I can take off my wheels and put them on this one. So there was like a whole like, like a whole deal. So this one comes with the Performance Pack 1 wheels, which Johnny B has. He's the one with the orange Mustang. And he had the stock premium wheels and my other friend Alvaro from the I seen it from the other video he had his stock wheels still so I gave I gave the stock wheels from this to Johnny B Johnny B gave his wheels to Alvaro and Alvaro gave me his stock wheels to put on the white Mustang and the ones that were on the white Mustang were put on this one and uh, that's that was the whole ordeal with the wheels and like in October of 2019, this car got hit. This wheel got hit. It was um, it was hit by like a 16 year old that had just barely gotten his license. He literally like unfolded, he like unfolded his license in front of me. He was like, bro, my dad's gonna kill me. I was just upset. It was whatever. He cracked one of the rims. The rims weren't being made anymore. The insurance paid me for one of them. It was a whole bunch of bullshit. It was whatever. So that's why I upgraded to the niche. And the other ones weren't staggered. So the, the widest I could go was like 265, I believe. Because they were all the same wheel all the way around. They were like 20 by 9 or something like that. So um, that's that. All right, guys. So I've been walking around the car. And you guys have probably noticed that it has these stickers on it right here. It has the Outlaw, the Bama Performance, the Nittos, and the Roush. Uh, these are just like everything that, like performance-wise, that I have to the car. The Outlaw is actually the the mid pipe and the axle bag. So see, these are the Flowmaster Outlaw um, axle bag with active exhaust. Well, it used to have active exhaust. Um, 
until like a couple months of owning it as well like the valves it has like little valves that open and close for the active exhaust and they just, just they were just like rattling so i didn't like that and plus i never used it on quiet mode so i was like what's the point of having active exhaust it's still i still have them connected you can see it right there it has a little it has the little dials and uh every once in a while on my dash it'll say active exhaust not available because there's no it gets confused that there's no valves i think it's like the perfect exhaust setup for me like i have stock headers up at the front i have i still have my cats i have h pipe flow master and then i have the axle back flow master which is just like it gives it that mean deep tone to it so i like my exhaust setup i think it's pretty nice And then moving on to the Bama, right here we have Bama Performance. Everybody knows that's obviously a tune. It's a can tune, so it's nothing like special. Um, when did I get a tune? I got a tune like, I got the custom tune done maybe like a month ago because it had like the stock tune, which is just like, it's like a performance tune, but it's, it's not custom to the car. So I sent them like the diagnostics, like I sent them like my, uh, what is it it's like my gear ratios my camshaft if it has stock injectors or not just things like that to get it custom tuned so i did that so now she should be running pretty good and i have the six speed manual so like it's not the fastest but it's still like pretty good it still beats other camaros you know and some boats just calling me oh shit speak of the devil watch you guys gonna see my papa yes sir yes sir <laughs> you guys want some money this is my papa kareem he's got the 10 speed orange mustang you know fucking gap anything out there you already know i'm pulling up in three minutes you're, oh you're pulling up you're pulling up i'll be here guys what's funny is that i'm i'm actually filming at kareem's house like where i'm at right now is kareem's house i had lunch with him we got some sushi and some smoothie king <laughs> and he was like all right bro i'm gonna go back to work and i was like he's like you can just stay here and lock up i was like all right well i guess i'm gonna make the youtube video here so here i am in this driveway <laughs> Lexi, get out of my video. My uh, this is my house. <laughs> and I, I was like, I was on the phone with Kevin too. Oh, my papa's here. Look it up. Right. All right, guys. I'm gonna continue the video before I was really interrupted by Lexi, but not my papa Kareem. He's always welcome in the vlog. You already know. All right. What were we talking about? Um, I think we were talking about the tune. How it's a can tune and it's custom. Anyways, it makes it go room room. And then. Cord's, Cord's Mustang, that shit's sorry. I'm just playing. Now my boy Cord, he's got a Roush Stage 1. It's clean too, Mwah. Beautiful, it's like that race red. All right, moving on, moving on. We have the Nittos. Uh, of course, it's the NT Triple Fives, G2s. I think this is like the, the first version, because I know there's like a like a version two now. Like I said, 285s in the back, 255s up front. Good setup, could be better, but you know, we out here, broke boy shit. Next up, we got the Roush Cold Air Intake. I'll show you guys that. That is a motherfucking hoe to put on. Let me just tell you. It's horrible. You have like no, no room. No room. Anyways, all right. We got the hood struts. You already know. Because we out here being fast boys. Sheesh. I think I'm going to put in the clip where I took off this peel. There was a peel right here on the 5.0 badge. I'll put that in right here so you guys can see it when it was like fucking spectacular. All right. Here it is, boys. All right. This for the one time, boys. Where's the nut button? Oh, no, dude! No! Dude! No! Dude. No. <laughs> dude. <laughs> My Roush Cold Air Intake uh, gives that shit like 200 horsepower. You already know. You know the vibe. Um, but that's that's that for performance, I'm pretty sure. So we got exhaust, intake, wheels, and tune. So this is, a, this is that fast boy shit. You already know. Uh, it's got the Performance 1 spoiler. It comes with all performance pack. It's got short throw gears, it's got magnetic suspension. I have I have the Brembo brakes up front, you know, the six piston brakes, because we need that stopping power for how fast we go. 
Back to the crashes. So the kid hit it in October. He like he hit my wheel and messed up like just like my suspension really. He didn't mess up any of the body, so that's still original panels, which is good. All right, guys. So moving on to the second time this car has been in an accident. This is the GT500 front spoiler. If you guys haven't noticed, but um, we were coming back from where was it? From uh, from Albuquerque to go pick to go drop off my little sister, and um, I was on a one way. I was like on a one-way like highway like back road so it's like one going forward and one going back you know so i'm behind this tahoe and i see like a dog coyote type thing it like runs in front of the tahoe the tahoe swerves right the the dog gets scared so it runs back in in my lane bro and i'm not about to swerve into oncoming traffic there's like semis you know just it's a one-way lane so i'm not gonna swerve either left onto oncoming traffic or right into the dirt road because then I would have flipped this car and you know, I've been there, done that. So I don't think God would let me live twice. Anyways, the, I, yes, I hit the poor dog or whatnot, but you know, it's either your dog or us. So I'm glad to be alive. And they hit like all right here. Like it hit right here, it hit my headlight. Like, like my bumper was like obliterated. If I, I have a couple pictures of it, I'll probably throw it up on the screen as well. So you guys can see the before picture, like when it would happen. Uh, so it broke like my crash bar. It has a brand new crash bar behind this. Uh, so it's not color matched anymore. It has it's just black. It uh, it didn't hit. It didn't like break anything like um, mechanically. It was just all cosmetics. So it was just my bumper, my turn signal. My this is the the same headlight that it hit. It broke my bracket. So right here, there's no bracket holding it. So I had to like makeshift one right here with like this this L hinge. And I had a JB weld the hole that ripped out. One headlight is like a thousand dollars, and yeah, fuck that. <laughs> if my headlight still works, I'm still gonna fucking use it. And it messed up a little bit on my body right here, you know. But I mean, that's the least of it. Like nothing, nothing major. So I, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna full send it. 500 bumper, you know, we out here. I took out the little. Uh, it's supposed to have like little vent things right here, but it just since the since this isn't a 500, obviously, it's not like wider so it just looked awkward to me so we took those off and i kind of like ran over one so i was like i was gonna take it off anyway but then i ran over it and i was like fuck it so i just took it off and then what pisses me off is the splitter i don't know if you guys can tell but it's kind of fucking bent <laughs> right here um it's just like the car is so much lower now and i'd be fucking hitting bumps i don't know how to drive low anymore fucking rip the z you already know um so that's why it has the 500 bumper all right guys so next up i want to talk about like little cosmetic things that i've done to the car you know like so the first little cosmetic thing is right here we have the black 50 badges you already know we got the wrap carbon fiber shout out to my boy albert steezy y'all hit him up in the midland text area he's good as fuck with that he was supposed to wrap my roof today for this video it's supposed to be a black roof but you know he's grown and he has to do big boy stuff so it had to be held up to tomorrow so this video is going to be made without the roof being wrapped so it's all right i'll update you guys so same again the mirror carbon fiber wrap oh uh, we have these little hood vents that he wrapped carbon fiber these things are solid bro like people always think like it's like i bought them carbon fiber um what else have i done like little cosmetic things i guess i blacked out everything like this shit is like all blacked out like my headlights are blacked out my uh my turn signals down here are blacked out you can't really see them um like any little light on this car is blacked out i used to have louvers right here too they were carbon fiber and i went out to a bar and this drunk girl she didn't she was being stingy and didn't want to get the fuck in my car and my boy cole shout out my boy cole vintage waggy you already know my boy cole had to put some muscle in that hoe and she freaking grabbed onto my louver and ripped it off it's actually the same one kareem has so let me show you so it's, it was it's these carbon fiber louvers and she didn't want to get in the car so cole like pulled her into the car and she grabbed onto this one right here and ripped it off so jordan if you're watching this video you owe me a new fucking gill that's what she called it and uh so that's that's what i did to that that's what happened there i have my tail lights they're uh custom tinted you know like because they have this little kink right here so i had to individually cut this out with an exacto knife that precise cut we got the life of john sticker you know the roush like that gt badge and then you know we got the of course can y'all see that of course we got the send nudes because you already know 
Every, so everything's blacked out. That's basically it for like cosmetics on the outside. Uh, something I want to do next is pretty much just get the roof wrapped. Honestly, like besides that, like I freaking love the car. The car was ceramic coated in San Antonio. I got shout out to my boy Brian for doing that, hooking it up, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, the bumper isn't ceramic coated because it was it got ceramic coated when I had the stock bumper, so that's that. And then my boy Albert, we have the 20% windshield tint right. I mean, not windshield. We have the 20% tint right here on the sides. Then we got 5% on the little ones, and then we got 5% in the rear, and then we have 30% up front. So that's why it's probably dark. Um, he had a he had to cut out my my registration sticker. Yeah. Uh, which is actually about to expire so i need to go hit up my boy korean so he can give me a new one because you already know this car is not going to pass inspection next up i want to move into the interior of the car because um i think it's pretty cool like it's like simple but like i don't know it, it has like its own touch like personal touch for me so it, it's the it's the premium package so that comes with the leather seats uh heat and cool it has the eight inch display and then since this is the performance pack it has the little gauges in the middle which is dope and then i did every, everything that you see red and carbon i did so like uh we have the red shifter the red right here we have the red right here uh the carbon it's just like little like subtle little things you know like it looks dope honestly in my opinion like all this is supposed to be chrome around the shifter it's carbon my cup holders are carbon uh on my doors the door handles red you know match it's got the carbon it's got the red handle uh the carbon right here like it's nothing like too much i think it's just like enough to make it like it where it looks nice you know and then moving on over here to my steering wheel we have the it's just a regular steering wheel but it also has the carbon and the red accent right here and i have the original cluster like uh if you don't know 2018s come with the uh with the digital dash and that's just one thing my car didn't come with which is like it's whatever honestly i'm not gonna spend two thousand dollars on just fucking gauges so i have i have the chrome delete and it has like camo on the inside if you can kind of see i have the radar detector you know because we out here we fast boys um i also have the starlight roof you you, uh, you obviously can't see because it's daytime right now but um at nighttime it's rolls royce in this bitch you know we fancy we fuck under the stars and you already know uh, I have a rocket ship, you know, right here. You can't see it either, but oh, you can kind of see the outline of the rocket ship because this is, uh, this car is called the Red Rocket. That's just what my friends call it, I guess. Um, it has a moon. It has a planet. It's pretty dope at nighttime. I'll show I'll show a little clip of it later, later tonight when it gets dark. And then it's signed right here by Jack Roush. Jack Roush actually signed himself personally no i'm just playing bro that's actually my signature and not to cap you already know we got the life of john signature on that bitch if you don't need anything signed just let me know i got you boys uh we got the red case to match the car too duh, obviously but that's everything for the the interior i believe uh, plan like future plans future plans honestly i think it's just gonna stay as it is like i want to get a corvette next i want to get a c7 i don't know stingray probably like the like the sport pack my friend alec has one he's got like the carbon roof the carbon mirrors it's like carbon splitter like it's a stingray but it's like it's it's dope like it's pretty fancy it gaps this for sure so that's probably what i'm gonna get next and uh yeah just trying to keep it clean simple you know it still looks nice the ceramic coat still holding up i don't think i'm gonna get a wrap kareem's gonna get his um uh, rewrap soon hopefully um his i don't know I fuck with this color, though. It looks dope on camera. That's my boy. I love you, Papa. He's inside taking a shower right now. We'll probably fucking go fuck with him in a little bit. I'll record that, too. Yeah, but that's everything on my uh, on my 2019 Mustang. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Share with your friends. My other video has, like, 1,700 likes, I think. I mean, not 1,700 likes. I wish. Uh, views. Something like that. It has, like, over 1,000 views. So, hopefully, we can... Uh, get more views on this one let me know in the comments what you guys think about the car what else i should do to it if i should just fucking throw it in the trash or i don't know finna go inside finna go change you know finna go hit the gym trying to get tan big juicy as fuck all right so make sure i drop a like subscribe and
the tutors will be back. Yeah.